Claude Vision in your browser is insane. I developed a browser that will basically, on any web page you're at, take a screenshot of that website and all of the copying contents on it and allow you to chat about what you physically see on the website with Claude. For example, what is this about? Question mark. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because a little while ago, OpenAI released something that basically said that we have this GPT that lets you chat with anything on your screen. Look at this. This post is about a challenging situation in UK housing market. I get a summary. Okay, let's say I go down and I've got this guy here called Old Guna. Hey, what did Old Guna say? Now, they released this thing and I thought, man, that's such a cool piece of technology. The fact that you could just have an AI follow you around the internet and basically ask it any questions about what you're doing. If you're struggling with signing up or how do I make this make connection better or how do I find out what was going on this page, we can now use AI that has both a screenshot of the it, of the actual thing you're looking at plus all the content. So check this out. Old Guna made two comments in the thread. They made this, they made that, blah, blah, blah. Then let's say I'm struggling to sign up. Hey, how do I sign up to this website and where do I click? So you can imagine use cases with guys, it's insane. So the reason I made it is because I, OpenAI promised it, it's not here yet, so I thought, hey, let's make it together. To sign up to the website, Reddit, and join the housing community, follow these steps, look at the join button in the top right corner of the housing section, click the join button if you're not really logged in, blah, 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 and it gives you all the instructions because it can see what you're doing. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you build this, this Chrome extension I built as part of our AI co-pilot series, and all the agents, the guides, the blueprints, all the scenarios are available down below my school community, which basically means all you ever have to do is come down here to more, click import blueprint, choose the file, select the file, you upload it, and it appears, as well as all the code available to use this actual uh, Claude Vision co-pilot that you can just upload and change for yourself. Now, to begin this video, we're just gonna create a brand new scenario, okay? And the first thing I want to do is come over here to the plus button, and I'm gonna look for webhook, like so. I'm gonna click on this webhook at the top, and I'm gonna go for custom webhook. Cool, we're gonna add a new one in. We're gonna call this one Vision. Now the cool, I think the applications of this are insane. Now I could have spent, I meant, I meant this to be a really quick video. I wanted this to be a really short, snappy, beautiful video for you. But I'll be honest, when I started making it, I was like, I actually wanna take this to a level 10. I'll explain what I mean in a moment. Now look, what we do, we're gonna copy the address to clipboard. I should also say guys, in this video, I'm gonna to touch on the new GPT-40 with Canvas and how we can use that to make incredible copilot. So you'll see these files when you basically download the folder. Now in this guys, all you're gonna do is open the file, you're gonna control F and you're gonna search for EU2 like so. And you're gonna see this really cool webhook like so. And all you do is you highlight this webhook like that. And then you paste in your brand new um, your brand new webhook to get that to work. And once you've done that, you basically come to the top, you click five, you click save. If you're doing this on Mac, I recommend that you use text edit. And if you're doing this on Windows, there's loads of basically applications that let you save in plain text. Now, once we've done that, guys, we come back over to our beautiful scenario, and then we need to head over to the wonderful, phenomenal Google Chrome, okay? And then you're gonna come over to extensions, okay? Now, make sure this thing in the top right is enabled, which is developer mode. Now, I'm gonna delete this just so you can actually get a good sense of it. All we do, guys, is you're gonna click on load unpacked, and you're gonna select the folder and just upload that to Google Chrome. So now you've added your unique webhook within the Chrome application, you can upload it straight to your browser like so. And then what I would like to do is basically it's all set up and running. So if I come over then to any web page, for example, Reddit like so, it magically and wonderfully appears, enables us to start having a conversation. Now, what do we need to do next? So if I head back over then to our wonderful scenario, let's head straight over. What do we need to do? Now there's a reason I'm using Claude here instead of GPT. GPT-40 Preview, which is the most powerful in terms of its reasoning, is not available to you unless you reach a level five tier with an open AI's um, sort of credit usage. So for this video, what I'm going to do is use Claude because actually guys, Claude is really, really good. And it basically means you don't need to download the file. You can actually give it both a PNG and a text file without needing to add extra steps. So it actually just makes it quite simple. So the first thing we need to do guys is just simply run the scenario. And then we're gonna come back over. I'm gonna say something like test. And we should get a accepted that comes back. What does that mean? It means that it's actually picked up the data. So you can see it's put through all this stuff and I've configured the Chrome extension. If I run this again using something like a different website, like Make, for example, I come over here and I just put the word test in. I should get an accepted. I come back and you can see, guys, it's given us URL. It's given us the conversation history. So everything that's been said. We've got the screenshot, so in other words, what are, what are you physically looking at? And then we've got the page HTML, which is all of the data that exists on the page. So the first thing we wanna do is take that page HTML. So for that, we're gonna type in HTML to text. Beautiful. And the HTML is very simply gonna be this page HTML. 
like so, phenomenal. And then we're gonna add in beautiful, phenomenal Claude. Now I'll show you how you do this because basically in one input, we're gonna give it the image. In another input, we're gonna give it the text and then we're gonna give it a third input. So let me show you exactly how that works. So the first thing I'm gonna do here guys is max tokens, we're gonna put 4,000. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is role is gonna be user and then the content is gonna be type, is going to be image, we scroll down and then we're gonna map this across. So let's have a look at what we've got. We've got the screenshot, phenomenal, and then we've got the files. So the name is gonna be screenshot and the data is going to be this here, download at the bottom. Cool, now that's done. We're gonna add another message. This one is gonna be the role of assistant and in the assistant category, we're gonna give it the instruction. So I want you to enter this following prompt. You are an AI assistant designed to help users navigate their current cat tasks. You will receive a screenshot of the user's page all the text from that page, the entire conversation history with the user. Your task is to analyze the provided information to understand the user's current situation and any challenges they may be facing. Provide clear, concise, and helpful instructions on what the user should do next. Offer step-by-step -step guidance if necessary, ensuring the instructions are easy to follow, maintain a friendly and professional tone throughout the response. Please remember, do not mention or refer to screenshot, text, or conversation history in your response. Fully focus on delivering actionable advice to the user. Now, you can change this prompt as much as you want to to give you the kind of feel and dynamic that you'd like when speaking to the agent. Now, this this is set up in a way that it needs to go user, role user, role assistant, role user. So then finally, guys, in the role user, what we're going to do is come down for user. We've got content. The type is going to be text. And essentially, we're going to give it then all the information that we need. So for example, we're going to have conversation history, like so. And all you're going to do, guys, is just put the conversation uh, history in here which is the content, beautiful. And then we're gonna have um, website text, and then we're gonna add the text from the text parser. Once we've completed that, guys, we're just gonna come by and select okay. We're gonna rename this one. We're gonna call this one Claude Vision with some beautiful googly eyes. I love that, okay, sweet. And then finally, guys, we're gonna give it the webhook response. So just type in webhook, and it'll be the one at the top. And all we do guys is come and give it the text response from Claude Vision like so, then we click okay. The cool thing about this guys is now we can actually feed images and text in one single string to Claude, which is phenomenal. Now guys, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna click on this run once module here like so. We're gonna go back over then to, let's say this one and let's just simply refresh it. Uh, GPT Vision, let's open this bad boy up. And then let's ask it a question like, I don't know, how do I create an account here? Be explicit on the location, uh, please. And if you enter, scanning the web page, what else is it doing? It's taking a second to go through a load. If I come back actually now over to our scenario, you can see that Claude's just created the prompt, sent it straight back to the webhook. To credit create follow these steps. Look at the top right corner of the web page. You'll see a pink button that says get started free. Now guys, this is so flipping epic because it isn't just like perplexity that's like taking the HTML. It isn't just about like, what does it say? It can actually now, we can give it screenshots. And I just think this opens up so many incredible like possibilities to like, basically there's no reason you wouldn't have this. What we've added here guys, is kind of what OpenAI said they wanted to do, which is have ChatGPT follow you around the internet and you can ask questions about anything you want to using image and using text, which I think is pretty flipping cool. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video very quickly is how do, let's say we wanna improve that, okay? So let's say I go over to this. Now this here is essentially all the code we've done for our Copilot, right? Now, you'll know, and I'll put a link in the video if you've not made these car parts before, exactly how to make them. But look, I'm going to come over here and I type in all the code we've got. I hit enter. Now, to select GPT-40 with Canvas, you come here and you can select it like this. Now, I did a video on this in my community, but essentially what we're looking at here is the ability to get one long piece of text and instead of a back and forth conversation where I say A, you say B, but I'm going to go back and forth with the AI, we can actually fully edit the entire thing within within Claude itself. So it's gonna be within ChatGPT itself. So look, this has now brought all the code down. Now if you check this out, let's come down here and have a look what it says. This is the initial version of your chat interface with JavaScript Pro for GPT. Guys, check out what you can do here. You can come down. You can port to a different language. I can go to C++, PHP, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript. Now, everything we can do with these UI updates, you could have done previously. This is just simply a ease of use change. But do you see, just by changing like how something looks and feels, you actually make a substantive difference. And that's always worth bearing in mind whatever you're doing. So you add logs, add comments, fix bugs, port to a language, code review. So for example, I could say something like, hey, um, improve the loading animation when we are waiting 
for a response from the webhook. But this is exactly how it works, okay? Now this is phenomenal for building your co-pilots because then it isn't, because what will happen sometimes is you'll have like 300 lines of code and it will make a change, but it'll only give you 26 lines or it will start to cut things out. Here, it seems, and from my experience using it, it is just editing the document, which means that the output is more robust, which means that you can be more consistent with the AI co-pilots that you're making. And you can see it's going down here, making all the changes as we go, which is pretty flipping cool. Let's have a look. It's all going through and it's added an extra 20 lines of code. Awesome. So what do we do? Top right, copy this. Let's go over to our uh, our document here. We copy all, we paste, and let's just fail save as. And then we're going to head over to beautiful Google Chrome. We come over to extensions and we just hit the refresh button and that will report everything back in. Then if I come over to Reddit and I refresh the page, let's try it one more time, shall we? So we come over here and let's see if it's added something cool. All right, cool. So there's a loading animation. Hey, what? I say, hey, who wrote this post? And give me the top five summaries from this page. But now did I actually put it into, I need to activate the scenarios. Let's come back and do that. Uh, where are we? We're right here. So let's activate that scenario. Wait for new data. And let's give it the exact same thing again. Come over here, enter, scan a web page, and it's added in a complete loading emoji. Now, guys, this is level one. This video could have taken me like, I don't know, a week to do if I wanted to do level two. So there's this thing that we can do where like, imagine if actually what we could do on top of that is we link in perplexity. So we make one of these modules more agentic. So we ask it to say, hey, based on the image, based on the text, can you answer this question correctly? If it feels it cannot, we can actually split this in. Check this out, okay? Uh, let me unlink this. Do you know, it would be cool if it just did it immediately for dramatic effect. That'd be pretty cool, right? We can then split this into two categories. This one here could be knows the answer, send it back. But then let's just say it doesn't know the answer. And actually what we need to do is search online for perplexity. And then actually now we had an internet search aspect to it, okay? So then we have this route. So now we enrich text plus image plus internet. Now I didn't want to include it in this video because I want to make this quite short and snappy for you so you can kind of get used to how we're transferring image and text and how epic this whole technology is. And then the final level of this, the final boss of this, and if you want this video, let me know down below because I think this is really cool, is where we actually enable GPT to push buttons on our behalf. So what we then say is, look, highlight for me the bit of this page that says X or create the account section for me. And we enable it to take controls for us on the browser. So if that sounds interesting, you wanna hear about that, let me know down in the description. But as you can see here, guys, the information we've got back, it's pretty phenomenal, right? It's given us a summary. This is like a, just a really, really cool thing. We could add on top of that as well. You've seen videos we've done on YouTube. I could add a YouTube analyzer on that. So I could have an earlier model that determines what web page am I on. If on YouTube, grab transcript, bring the transcript back in and then go through. So this is like, this is Lego guys. You can build anything you want to this. I thought this was so epic. I'm also really impressed with the GPT-4.0, not just for code, but for text. But in any case guys, I hope you see how cool this one is. Have a great weekend. and I look forward to catching you in the next video.